Hi YouTube. I haven't made a new YouTube video for a long time, but often I am asked to by my commenters. You guys like my videos. Um, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm going to read a transcript today uh, because I don't want to um and ah uh so much, and I have a habit of not editing my videos whatsoever. So I'm going to read my transcript, and you'll see why I've read it by the end of it. Disability is created when a human being cannot participate or perform in a certain system because of structural limitations in the system. For example, a person without use of their legs does happen to be disabled from walking, but in a wheelchair they are perhaps only disabled from entering a building or being on the sidewalk if there is no ramp or incline access. Then they are enabled access regardless of certain specific limitations. However, everything, and I mean everything that exists in actuality, is about or has or is produced by certain specific limitations. Okay, this is really a general claim in my own philosophy grab bag that makes sense both in fundamental particle physics as well as psychiatric disability legislation. The electrons exist in certain specifically delimited orbital shells. You can look that up, Niels Bohr. I am not allowed to work for the police as an officer for numerous reasons. Come up with some of your own, maybe. My schizophrenia is not a made-up label. Get it straight. You may be wrongly labeled. I am schizophrenic, okay? I understood and called myself schizophrenic on my own without being diagnosed or called psycho by anyone. Yes, I had been called weird on the school playground for most of my life. However, that did not preclude me from going online the World Wide Web in 1999 and reading a bunch of people self-identify their schizophrenia. I read descriptions of experiences, accounts of delusions and hallucinations, paranoia and anxiety, social difficulties, and also some traits I would even consider beneficial with the right integration and adaption and activities and social groups that are enabling for me rather than disabling, which frankly speaking are only the activities and social groups which cause my symptoms to spiral out intensely and harmfully. Calling schizophrenia a mere label that is just a delusion of a doctor is about as straightforwardly foolish as saying it is only and merely a biological switch. I have two YouTube comments with the self-same sentiment that I found on the same video about doubting delusions, doubt yourself too, in my uh, past videos, that I made uh, kind of to address this information of doubt, and some of the comments of this current video were kind of a background comments in that other video, but anyway. This is what Wolfgang J.K.D. said uh, seven months ago. I might have read it a while ago, but I just kind of thought about it again when I looked at it now. Um, I personally don't believe in medical diagnosis, especially for what they call mental disabilities, because I was once in and out of mental hospitals myself, feeling crazy and helpless. Now, I just don't agree with this. I don't agree with it. He kind of has a sentiment that he wants, like, maybe there's something well-intended about his sentiment, but it's just not true. Like, he might not have a faith in, like, a, like he might be, like, something about medical diagnosis is not important if it's not also able to self-identify, but it's just not clear that mental disability doesn't exist at all. Yeah, I don't get that. And then Mr. Godkid, who said this, it's a very similar comment in the way I feel about it. 
You have no idea whether what you are saying makes sense, saying that I do not when I know for a fact that schizophrenia is the suppression of a DNA GTCA expression. If you are talking about schizoaffective disorder, then yes, it is an overactivation of a DNA GTCA expression. Once you know that your disorder comes about for a very logical reason, it is easy to reconcile too. Uh, this is nonsense. I think it's a troll maybe, but... I'm not exactly sure. You might just really believe that genetics is responsible for everything. And so he says that. Like, yeah. Oh, I remember when we were talking, when I commented back and forth with this Mr. God kid in like four years ago or two years ago or something. Uh, it was about suppression and overactivation. And I said something along the lines of some of my traits are beneficial. They're like, pluses, not just deficits, or he said there was just deficits in schizophrenia and no additions or something like that. And this comment is just a part of, it's like nonsense about DNA GTCA expression and suppression and overactivation. It's very rhetorical and odd that he says that's a fact. It's just trollish. Anyway. I'm going to leave off on this quote from Thomas Werga, head of research at the Hans Medical Health Center at Copenhagen University Hospital. Thomas Werg, 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 Werga. I don't know how to spell his, or pronounce his last name. The study has made it clear that schizophrenia is not a single or small set of ailments, but rather an extensive and varied group of conditions, which may occur for completely different reasons and which may have myriad ways of expressing themselves. That's about what I would agree with. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Peace.